Thank you, our listeners. Let's learn sumo. Day eight, halfway point of the Osaka Basho. Well, it's been an unusual Basho as they go. Uh, a little bit, a uh, little bit out there. Some uh, big names fading away, uh, and a couple of, as always, you've got a few guys down the lower order who f- generally need to be a bit higher that are taking the lead early. But uh, that usually sorts itself out second week as these younger guys come up and face some of the more senior sumo. That being said, some of the more senior sumo have been doing a pretty ordinary job. So our Yokozuna Taranofuji, he lost again on day six. And then, of course, day seven, not unexpected. He went Kujo. He's got a lot of ongoing issues and uh, health problems. His knees are pretty much supported by some fairly serious scaffolding. Uh, and the lower ranks seem to have found a way to exploit his weaknesses by getting close and fast and standing him up. Seems Terunofuji, our Yokozuna, has a little defence to that. Kitashima continues his awful Osaka Basho. Uh, unless he gets his act together, he might be Kataban for the second time come the May tournament because uh, so far he is struggling for wins. Our other Ozekis, Takakesho, Hoshoryu and Shinozeki, new Ozeki, Kotonowaka, they're doing okay. They're coming along. They've all each had two losses each. Uh, could probably be a bit better if they want to be on the, in the run for it. Um, you may have noticed that uh, when the Yokozuna lost, there were no cushions thrown. There were no Zabuton th- showers going on in the middle. Well, that's because last year Osaka announced that they were tying down the cushions so you couldn't throw them. Uh, you're not actually meant to throw the cushions at any of the Bashos, but uh, Osaka made it a point that they can't be thrown. Anyway, we've got a few other names coming along. Abi. He's got uh, some more wins up, and uh, look, if he gets about 10 wins, he might make his way to Sekiwake. So let's go through the highlights for day six. I'm Clayton. Welcome to the podcast. Don't forget to join me on Let's Learn Sumo on X, Twitter, and Instagram. Let's start off with our man, Takeda Fuji. He beat Churanumi with a big strength drive out. That put him to 6-0, and Day Mummy. He made beating Takata Fuji from, Ju- uh, from Jurio look more difficult than it needed to be. Uh, we move along to Ichiya Mamoto. He made really hard work of beating an underperforming Hokuto Fuji. It was a really close throw, but Hokuto Fuji hit first. Uh, it was a pretty good match. A Watanage underarm grip belt throw. Uh, Mita Kayumi. And Takayasu, look, this was a really good battle on day six. It was a classic sumo battle. Two veterans, some good uh, Sapari thrusting, a bit of a Starmo grip in the middle, which ended up an Oshidashi for Mitakayumi taking the win over the big bear. Uh, moving on to Atomic, uh, Atomic Fuji. <laughs> Atomi Fuji, we'll call him Atomic from now on. He showed pretty good defense and patience against Asanayama on day six. Got a pretty good belt grip against the Bales. He defended a couple of attempts and he got into a position to pull a sunny armor across his body using an underarm belt grip. Uh, Watanage, look, that was much better from Atomic. Uh, I thought uh, it was a, a better showing against a, a quality wrestler like a sunny armor. Uh, Daesho beat Ura. Well, Ura beat himself, really. Ura, of course, went slow and low. Daesho waited. Ura tried to keep him at distance. He wriggled around, throwing thrusts, and he got into a bit of a funny position in the end up against the bales. He had uh, Daesho there, and he tried to go for a bit of a leg pick against the bales, but Ura's feet, if you go back and watch, they were a bit misplaced. He had them crossed over, so as he tried to pull up, he just fell clean on his behind as he tried to do the leg pick. <laughs> Daesho just stood there looking fairly nonplussed about it all. He didn't really have to do much. Uh, certainly not classic sumo, but entertaining nonetheless. Ura is always entertaining. Daesho gets another much-needed win-up for uh, in his Sekiwake position. Wakamoto Haru easily accounted for Nishikigi once he got his favourite belt grip. Uh, Yori Tayoshi drive to the edge, cross-grip knockdown for Wakamoto Haru. 
Kitashima got his second valuable win of the tournament on day six against Oho. Look, he kept his balance. This was better to see. He got balance and he just, you know, a few Hikiyatoshi attempts, but a misdirection and a change of direction got Oho face planting rather than Kirishima. Look, it wasn't convincing, but it was a win. Hikiyatoshi uh, pull down win. Kotonawaka defeated Abi, which took Arby out of the lead. Arby took it to Kotonawaka from the touchy eye. Lots of thrusting, but in the end, it was a pretty patient uh, Ozeki who stepped aside and let Arby through for a, a Sukiyatoshi body throw down at the edge. Officially, it was more like Arby was just a bit ahead of himself there. Takakesho, the battle hamster, defeated our big round belly man. I'll call him the pirate this tournament because he's got a big black eye. Uh, it's starting to fade now. He started the tournament. He's obviously copped one in the eye uh, during training, and his eye went very black, so he looks like a pirate. Hiradumi, uh, <laughs> the big round belly man, and Takakesho. They went hard with a good thrust from Takakesho. Hiradumi stepped backwards out. Look, officially an Oshidashi, but it was probably more of an inadvertent step out there for uh, Hiradumi. Uh, Tobizaru got a big double body grip on our Ozeki Hoshoryu, used his hips to deny Hoshoryu getting a grip and he just moved them back and forth and got his hips back and low and then he employed his big round belly to Yorokiri Hoshoryu over the bales for a win. Hoshoryu picks up a loss, Tobizaru picks up a win. Takanosho defeated our Yokozuna Teranofuji, as I said, on day six. Look, these guys in the last couple of days, they've got this big double body grip and Terunofuji would normally lock up both of those arms and using his strength and his knees and his hips, he would grab them, cause a most painful uh, lift on those locked up arms. But unfortunately, he just doesn't seem to have the power to do that. Uh, he did go up on one leg and that uh, leg helped him lose his balance and Takanosho just pushed him out fairly easily there and that was the last we've seen of the, the Yokozuna in this tournament. He's gone Kujo and I expect it's probably for the knees because they just don't have any push. So day seven, Takara Fuji. He drove Shodanumi out with some power and he remained the sole leader at the bottom of the Bunske with no losses, seven wins. Uh, Anosho defeated Ono Sato. This uh, really upset Ono Sato. He seemed a bit undecided what he was going to do during this match. Onosho kept up some good lateral movement. He got an arm under uh, Ono Sato to be able to turn him across his body for a Sukiyanage throw at the bales. On ono Sato looked super disappointed. He went 6-1. and one. Uh, He just... To me, he, he had Onosho up on the bales and he just couldn't come to a grip and get an idea of where he wanted to be uh, and it just didn't work for him and Onosato took advantage of that. Uh, Midori Fuji, having not a great tournament, he went he uh, actually got a win up to uh, Tamawashi. Good hit at the touchy eye. Midori Fuji pulled back, went for a double arm grab as Tamawashi charged forwards to open space. Hiki Atoshi pulled down, Midori Fuji goes three and four. Uh, Goniyama versus our pirate Hirodumi Watadashinage over arm throw. Hirodumi went in head down at that touchy eye. It was a bit of a dangerous move there. Uh, got himself a left outside grip as Goniyama couldn't get a grip. Hirodumi pulled him around with the help of a right hand and he executed a beautiful Watadashinage over arm throw, belt throw, as Goniyama is flung around out of the ring. Four and three apiece for those two guys. Uh, Atami Fuji, too low at the touchy eye. He took advantage, uh, oh, took advantage of um, Atami Fuji being a bit, bit too low and he backed off to allow Atami Fuji to go face plant due to his momentum. Uh, not a great uh, show of sumo there for Atami Fuji. Not sure what he was trying to do. Uh, Wakamoto Haru defeated Ura on day seven. Ura tried his stay low method to try again to deny Wakamoto Haru his advantage or grip by keeping his hips as far away from Wakamoto Haru as possible. And he does fight in that very low Greco Roman uh, wrestling style. But he backed off just a bit too much and Wakamoto Haru just keeps him pressured and Ura went out. Oshidashi, Wakamoto Haru, five to two, five and two. 
Uh, Asaniyama beat uh, Daesho. Daesho tried to thrash about, but Asaniyama just kept it forward and up in his face. Daesho touched out first going backwards as Asaniyama face planted, but uh, Asaniyama got that win, three and four apiece there. Hoshoryu got a good strong touch shy on Abi, went for the double Nottawa, but uh, Hoshoryu went forward, gets Abi's feet crossed up as he danced it across the Tawara Bales, trying to go lateral, and Abi went down. Oshi Tayoshi pushed down. They're both five and two after day seven. Uh, Takanosho defeated Kirishima. Kirishima appears to be the easy beat this tournament. Uh, it was an Oshi Dashi. Look, this was really weak sumo from Kirishima, to be honest. Um, he went backwards. He tried to go laterally, but a decent shove just got him straight out. Just not very good sumo. The crowd uh, on day seven was very quiet at the uh, end of this match. Kirishima falls to two and five. He's in deep trouble. Kotonawaka defeated Meisei. Uh, Meisei tried to get a one-handed grip, but Kotonawaka just pulled him around, uh, locked his arm there, and a Kotonage armbar throw out of the ring. Uh, Takakesho uh, defeated Nishikigi fairly easily. It was pretty poor showing from Nishikigi, actually. It was a really... I, I, my note says it was just poor sumo by uh, Nishikigi. He had a really slow, touchy eye. Then he tried to go forward, and it was a Suki Yatoshi shove down. Five and two for Takakesho. Uh, Tobizaru, of course, because Terano Fuji went uh, Kujo, went out sick. Uh, Tobizaru got a Fusen, a default win over Terano Fuji. Goes to his uh, list of wins. So that gets us to day eight. Uh, well, we'll uh, skip through some of these. Uh, Takeda Fuji and Ryuden. Well, Takeda Fuji, can he stop the uh, Take- uh, Takeda Fuji train? Can Ryuden stop it? Look, Takeda Fuji tried hard for a grip here, and Ryuden defended, but he just didn't get the belt grip. Uh, Takeda Fuji got a big double grip and steam trains him out. Uh, Oshidashi, that's Kachikoshi for the rookie. Eight and O, oh, that is a winning record. That will ensure, if nothing else, he gets a promotion and stays in Megashira next tournament. Uh, Chirinumi defeated Miyagiru. Uh, Shonanumi defeated Kitanowaka. Ichi Yamamoto uh, defeated Endo. Big sidestep and Endo went down uh, Hitaki Komi. Uh, Dai Mami put up a bit better show. Someone's lit a fire under him and he defeated uh, Shodai tonight. Mitakayumi defeated Nishiki Fuji. Sadanumi defeated Hokto Fuji with a big Watanage. Uh, Kota Shoho defeated Onosho. Uh, Itaki Komi from the Tachi Eye there. Uh, Gonoyama defeated Takayasu. Look, uh, they called a Monoe after this one and... It looked to all the replays I saw that Gonoyama was going backwards as Takayasu was going face down. And to me, it looked like Gonoyama's heel touched down outside. It was against the dirt. They, the judges had a Monoe conference. It went for a long time. Uh, to my surprise, they gave it to Gonoyama, who the Goombai was pointed at. Uh, I w- wouldn't say I totally agree with that decision. At best, I would have said a redo would have been perhaps fairer. Uh, either way, Gonayama gets that for the win. Uh, Kimbozan came back from his Kujo. I'm really surprised he came back. Uh, he really hurt himself, uh, and you can see a lot of strapping around his neck after he fell very badly the other day. Uh, but he got a win up against Midori Fuji. He just didn't let Midori Fuji move laterally, kept him in front of him, and pushed him out. Uh, Onosato beat uh, Tamawashi, big Nodawa from Tamawashi, but Onosato, Onosato just kept pushing hard and absorbing the hits, getting the right grip and forced the issue for Onoshidashi. That got Onosato a recovery to 7-1. and one. That puts him one off the lead of Takeda Fuji. Uh, a motivated Mace steamrolled our pirate Hirodumi out. Uh, onto the next fight, Arby defeated Ura. Into the third row did Ura go. Uh, Arby delivered a slap to Ura's face off the touchy eye. That's allowed. Um, no punching, but they can slap. Uh, Ura just didn't recover from the slap. It was a really good distraction technique. There was not a lot in it. Uh, Arby just kept a pushing, thrusting attack up with a big final thrust at the bales, and he really deposited Ura back past the judge and into the third row. Oshidashi, Abi hits six and two. A uh, little bit ungraceful for Ura. Asaniyama defeated Nishikigi. Better 
belt effort by Nishkigi tonight. I, uh, whilst he lost, it was still a better sumo effort from him. He put a little bit of uh, bit of passion into that one. Daesho defeated Atami Fuji. Look, good threshing by Daesho. Atami Fuji tried for a grip, but Daesho kept up the pressure. Atami tries for a Hitaki Komi, but he just didn't get any purchase. Uh, Daesho disengaged and gets a Hiki Atoshi pull down on Atami Fuji. They go to four apiece each, four and four. Takakesho was up against Oho, and Takakesho, look, is pretty good to see, actually. He put up a pretty relentless thrusting and pushing attack on Oho to win, and I would say in Ozeki style. Uh, it was, you know, Takakesho of old, moving well, moving forward, lots of power. Six and two to Takakesho. Hoshoryu defeated the Onagiri Ball Onosho. Apparently that's his nickname, Onagiri Ball, because they reckon it looks like one. Onosho has Hoshoryu under pressure back at the bales, but Hoshoryu, look, Ozeki power, he stabilised, he had his feet up against the bale, he recovered uh, he tried for a beltless arm throw to get Onosho off balance and uh, then he just stepped on the gas and pushed Onosho out. Oshidashi, it was a pretty good fight, that one. Uh, I would say go back and watch that one. It's a good one. Uh, Ashoryu gets himself to 6-2, and two, so he's only two off the lead and uh, our man Takeda Fuji has to face all the Sanyaku yet. Tobizaru up against Kirishima. Want to take a guess who won this one? Uh, Tobizaru defeated Kirishima. Look, it was a big thrusting attack, and, and Kirishima had to work hard, but he had better balance tonight. Uh, look, it ended up in a grip in the centre with Tobizaru having a really deep front grip. Uh, while they were at a bit of a stalemate, Kirishima went for a rear left grip, but I, I just think it was a not a great move to do. He kind of put himself off balance. Tobizaru stepped on it, forced Kirishima back, and he just had a step out. But look, you could say it's an inadvertent step out, but... Kirishima should know better than to lift his foot going backwards like that. Uh, I would think he would have been better off to, uh, as they train, keep their foot on the on the uh, dohyo and let it slide back into the bales to give himself stability against the bale. To me, it was a pretty bad error from uh, Kirishima in that regard and really not good sumo. Uh, very simple mistake. Kotonawaka. Defeated Wakamoto Haru. Big pressure thrusting from Kotonowaka forces Wakamoto Haru back to the bales. Wakamoto Haru recovered, looked to gain his grip. Uh, Kotonowaka continued thrusting, and Wakamoto Haru went a bit lateral, went sideways. But the storm of arms coming at Wakamoto Haru was just too much, and he went over. Pretty good sumo there from Kotonowaka. He, he's getting a real diverse range of skills uh, and you know, you can look at him and say that's there's a man who will likely go further uh, if he stays healthy, and he will likely make it to Yokozuna at some point in future. So where does that leave us? Well, that leaves us with Takedo Fuji, the rookie in Magashira 17 on eight wins and no losses, but he's yet to face all of the Sanyaku wrestlers. His big test will come this week as he goes up the Bunske uh, tomorrow. He'll be facing uh, Arby tomorrow, I believe. Onosato, 7-1, and one, fighting well, but again, he needs to face all of the Sanyaku yet as well. Uh, the Ozeki, except for Kirishima, they're all 6-2. and two. So Kotonowaka, Wakamoto Haru and Takakesho, all 6-2. and two. We can forget about Kirishima. He'll be uh, Karaban next tournament, I would suspect. So look, uh, the fight tomorrow with Takeru Fuji and Abi. Look, big strength, big power from Takeru Fuji versus fairly smart and wily sumo from Abi. And Abi's not uh, underpowered himself, and he's doing well. He's in good form. So... That should be an interesting match up. Onosato versus Wakamoto Haru. Uh, don't let Wakamoto Haru get on your belt or you'll be done. So if you go back and look at all of Takeda Fuji's fights, day one, Daimami, big strength, good sumo instincts. He shifted position to get in behind for an Akuridashi. Day two, Endo was a big power strength win. Day three against Roga, look, funnily, it was a... I think it was a big dirty hanker, uh, a hit and shift. Uh, Miyagiru, big strength Oshidashi from the touchy eye to push Miyagiru out. Toki Hayate from Jurio, big upper shoulder body strength to muscle him out. You can see the big uh, trapezoid muscles on the back of uh, Takeda Fuji's neck. They stand out. Churunumi and Shonanumi, they were both big strength drive outs, the big steam train, and Ryuden strength one out today. So that's his, that's his uh, advantage. 
Will he be able to hold up against someone like Hashoryu, who is not so easily pushed around and has his own core strength as well? Kotanawaka, he's got bulk to resist and some good sumo strength. So it uh, should be interesting to see where that goes into the, this final week of the Osaka Basho. Certainly we won't see uh, our, Ozeki, our uh, Yokozuna back. Uh, Kirishima, as we said, he's done for this tournament. Our Ozeki still have a good chance of uh, rounding it out and coming away with the trophy. They probably put um, our man uh, Takeda Fuji and Onosato under the pump over the next few days. So I hope you enjoyed the tournament so far. Join me next episode. We'll uh, see where these guys start going as they get into the big power ranks up in Sanyaku. It should be an interesting second week. Don't forget to join me next time. Hakua listeners, let's own sumo.